everyone, I'm Ghalia, and today we will be solving our GCSE graph questions. So let's take this question as an example. It comes from Paper 6, 2019, May, June, Variant 2. The question says that the students investigated the effect of pH on the germination of seeds. The students planted 25 seeds for each pH value. The results of the investigation are shown in Table 2.1. So over here, we have the pH values, and here we have the number of seeds germinated, and these are their percentage. In Part 1, it says to calculate the percentage of seeds that germinated at pH 8, and for us to show our working down below. So the total seeds that are germinated at pH 8 are 15. So we divide 15 by 25 and multiply it by 100 to get 60%. Now, we are ready to solve part 2, which is a graph question. First of all, we should add the labels. Let's put pH on the y-axis and percentage of seeds that germinate on x-axis. Then we should add the values for y so over here, each 10 small squares are going to be the multiples of 2. And for the x-axis, each 10 small squares will equal to the multiples of 20. So for pH 4, the numbers of seeds that germinated are 20, and their percentage is 80. So the points will go here. Once we've added all the points for the values on the table, it's time for us to connect those points and also, remember, the line should be straight and never curvy. This will be the final look for the graph. Here's another example. This question comes from paper 6, 2018, May, June, variant 1. And it says that table 2.2 contains some other data collected by students from the garden ecosystem. In this question, we will be plotting a bar chart. So first of all, we need to add the labels, just like the previous question. Let's add number found in garden ecosystem on the y-axis and type of organism on the x-axis. After that, we add the values on the graph, so the values on the y-axis should be the multiples of 10. So each five squares will equal to the multiple of 10. But on the x-axis, we should divide the labels equally so that there will be five squares in between each bar. So let's start plotting by drawing the bar for the trees. And it should look like this. And a reminder that we should be dividing the values from the table by two because each square is equal to two in this bar chart. Now that we have applied all the bars for each type of organism, this is what it's supposed to look like in the end. Now let's move to the next example. This question comes from Paper 6, 2018, October-November, Variant 1. It says some students placed eight grapes. They had been picked at different ages into water. They measured the change in volume of the grapes after 24 hours. And table 2.1 shows the result of this investigation. Part 1 says, calculate the percentage change in volume of grapes aged 84 days. Then write our answers in the table. We should subtract the final volume after 24 hours with the starting volume of grapes, then divide it by the starting volume then multiply it by 100. So 36.6 minus 30 divided by 30, then multiply it by 100 to get 22%. Now let's plot the line graph in part two. We put the labels, percentage change in volume in the y-axis and age of grapes in the x-axis. And in the y-axis, the value labels are that each 10 squares will equal to 10%, but in the x-axis, each 5 boxes will be equal to 10 days. 
So first, let's add the first point, which is located here. Once we are done plotting, the graph should look like this. Now, let's connect them. Now this is the final look for the graph. Now in part 3, it says to describe the trends shown by the results in table 1.2 and your graph. So it is shown in the graph that when the age of the grapes increase, the percentage change in volume also increase. So let's write that. Another point is that from 12 to 81 days, the aged grapes increase the volume by 2%. So let's also write that. In part 4, it says to state the variables that was changed. So of course, the answer will be the age of the grapes. At last, we finished all the examples. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.